Well, it's the end of October. Halloween is just around the corner. But why does today feel like Christmas to me? I'll tell you why. Because today the bucket is going on the rollers. I'm headed to Metro Performance and it's Dino Day, baby. Woo! All right, just got here to Metro. I brought some goodie bags for all the fellas getting on the dyno along with some drinks. Let's go make some horsepower. What's up? Yeah. You got a little something something? Always. Dirty Danny. Always under the hood. <laughs> Always under the hood. Danny's been having some issues with his shoulder and everything, so I brought him some CBDMD goodies. I bear, I bear gifts. Okay, so I get the pills back because I gave him the pills. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got some uh, CBD capsules. We got this stuff. This stuff's really good for your shoulder. Okay. Um, roll that on your shoulder, okay. and you can drop this stuff in your coffee. Yep. You know, in the mornings and night. I take this mornings and night. Okay. And then maybe you and the old lady could get in the bath together and have a special oh, uh, relaxation. You oh, know my I mean? goodness. <laughs> Becky, don't get me in trouble. I'm here with Corbin. How's it going, guys? He flew in from Johnson Tuning. He's going to be uh, putting the bucket through his paces on the Dino Tech. Yeah, over we're going right? to try to. Yeah. So, hoping for some good power now in the new setup. So, yeah, the a lot old. Of good changes. For those of you out there that are wondering, what, what happened with, your, uh, with my previous motor? Well, it, I noticed it was getting tired, and once we pulled the motor apart, uh, we noticed that there was some, the heads were tired, the valves, the buckets were tight, there was, one, there was one valve that actually fell out, there was a little nick in one of the cylinder heads, so you were actually having problems tuning it on 91 last yeah, time. So. Yeah, 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 we had all sorts of issues. We knew there was something underlying, but we couldn't really figure out what. Yeah. Um, so we kind of, you know, have been planning towards this, I guess, in the long term. So, yeah. so here we are. We knew so. it was coming. <laughs> also, I, I, the thrust bearing was kind of tired. So yeah. thanks to ACT clutches, I won't have problems with that anymore. We addressed that. We also threw in the radium dual pump and the Grim Speed top mount. Yep. Just to give you a little bit more oh, yeah. uh, to yeah. play yeah. with yeah. there. So we were on the stock top mount before, which uh, the way Bucky likes to drive, that was always a concern with the heat soak. So now we have that upgraded. Um, and then obviously we have the, uh, the new iWire fuel pump control module set up, which is extremely nice. So we always recommend that for a lot of customers with similar builds. So um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of new exciting stuff. So. And I mentioned that I'm gonna be doing some track days in this. Yep. And you, you talked about heat yep. soaking and I was like, should I do like a race pump tune? Mm -hmm. And you, and you had a great idea and you're like, well, just, just carry a couple five gallon E85s mm -hmm. in, mix it 50, 50. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, we tune a lot of track cars and, you know, there's customers that are in this same situation where, you know, you really want to run E85 for obviously it's benefits of, of making power and obviously the cooling capabilities, but obviously with E85 comes a lot of fuel consumption, which when you're on track becomes a huge pain because very rarely are you going to find a track that has E85 accessible. So we always tell a lot of customers, you know, we can make you a track oriented map, which is going to be low, lower power to deal with heat. But then also you can lower the ethanol content to say 50%. You're going to get majority of the gains of ethanol, but you're going to get the benefits of less fuel consumption, um, which makes it a lot more convenient if you're going to be out there for, you know, 15, 30 minute stints. So, um, but then, you know, we could also do like a race gas tune if that was an option in some areas. So there's, there's a lot of different options to fit what you're looking to do with the car. So. So yeah, it's my time on the dyno. So let's load the bucket up and uh, stretch your legs a little bit on the rollers. Yep. Peace.
Sorry it's a little dusty from sitting in the shop, Corbin, for you. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> the moment of truth. Your chariot awaits, <laughs> sir. First up, 91 octane. <laughs> yeah, so first up, 91 octane. Make sure everything's good. If the car tunes well on that, then we'll bump it up to E85. First couple of pulls under our belt. Yep. Uh, anything you're uh, seeing or noting? No, it's looking great so far. It's way better than it was before, uh, especially being only on 91. So obviously we're gearing this side of the tune to be pretty conservative given how low the octane fuel is. So um, the plan here is to get something that's a nice broad usable power band so that you know if he does have to run 91, it's not going to be completely gutless, but it's still going to be on the safe side. And then obviously on E85, it's something that we're going to lean a little bit harder on it. So. Okay, you got about a, an eighth tank of gas left yep. to get this one going. Yeah, a couple more pulls and we should be good. So, <laughs> we'll put the good feel in. Well, the numbers are looking good and that's just 91 pump gas. They're almost already they're in the range of where it was on E85, so it's looking good. How's the temps? How's how's the car feeling? So the temps now we can, you know, before in the old setup it was using a stock GR STI top mount intercooler, which for a setup like this is going to be a little bit on the you know inefficient side. Um, so that was one of the main things we wanted to upgrade with the new setup was, you know, go to a much more efficient intercooler, which is where we're at now. And, you know, before we were seeing uh, the old setup, uh, you know, it wasn't abnormal for us to see, you know, 40 plus degree rise in charge temps. And now in this new setup, we're at about half of that, uh, which for a top mount setup, you know, with this turbo is, is much, much nicer, especially for, you know, what you're going to be doing with the car. So, yeah. um, you know, like we were talking about earlier, heat management is going to be one of our, you know, main uh focuses of this build you know we want it to last we want you to be able to enjoy it beat on yeah. not have to worry about anything so um yeah i mean extremely happy i mean this is uh way way better it's definitely a step in the right direction so. now it's time to put some e85 in this puppy and set her free Woo! now it's party time so when you do a e85 run for the first time is there anything that you do do you go full blown or do you kind of look at numbers uh, so the first thing is we let the fuel circulate and get up to like a finalized content which on a return style fuel system like this it doesn't take very long if it was like a 15 up degree access return list that's a different story uh, but on this setup you know basically we let the new fuel circulate through see where we're at uh, make sure everything's you know, lining up as it should. Um, and then, yeah, we go straight into doing a full throttle pull. Yep. I like his style. Yeah.
So we just did our first E85 pull. Uh, is there anything, anything worth mentioning? Uh, Everything looks Besides really that good. Really I guess, nice I guess big that, number. Yeah, I guess that it would make 400. A little shy. I mean, 392. Um, it's only 23 pounds of boost, um, so we got a little bit of ways to go. So I would expect that we'll probably end up in the 420 to 430 range pretty conservatively. Oh, stop it! So. Oh, stop <laughs> it! <laughs> Corbin's earning his dinner tonight. Yeah, there we Maybe go. Maybe a couple drinks All right. too. All right, we're gonna turn the boost up a lot. Maybe 450. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Selfies. Yeah, so who is it? It's the new one. Wilbur? The biggest one, yeah. Wilbur got out again. Damn. Yeah. And almost like got out out. Was he down by the gate? Yeah. Okay. I'll uh All right. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, love you bye. Love you bye. Freaking Wilbur got out again, so luckily everything's done and uh, I gotta get home and secure my tortoise. But the fucker weighs like 175 pounds. I'm not laughing. Well, that's a wrap for today. I'd say it was a pretty successful dyno run. Yeah, yeah, we met and exceeded our goals. Yeah, I was, I was actually like hoping to get in the fours. Yeah. So any, uh, anything you want to make note of? No, uh, greatly appreciate it. Always. Um, been working with Bucky for a while now, so looking forward to the next project. Yeah, man. Uh, appreciate it. I don't know. This one's got me pretty wrapped up. I still gotta do <laughs> final paint. I yeah. still might have to add a surge tank we we're talking about. Yep. So yeah. The, bigger turbo. Yeah. The bucket is not no bigger <laughs> turbo. The bucket is not quite there, but it's almost there. And yeah, I can't thank you enough. Yeah, Thanks man. Corbin. Thanks Johnson Tuning. Thanks Vince Built, Rally yeah. Spec, iWire, uh, Cobb, Grim Speed, Metro Performance. Thanks mm -hmm. guys. Take care. You guys have a good one. Love it. What? You forgot to say it. Oh, what? Oh. oh. Fuck yeah. <laughs>
so stoked right now. Everything went really good today. Freaking Wilbur, dude. So, apparently he didn't dig out this time and he climbed over the corner of the fence. Thanks for doing that. Oh, yeah. Tish is helping out. She has the, the Wilbur retriever. I'm thinking he got out here. Yeah, this is a little pushed in right here. So he might actually climbed out using this right here. Damn escape artist. Jesus! Oh gosh! No, that doesn't help. Oh my god. Okay. So, I'm gonna get rid of this. Dino coming to say hi. He's running. So this will keep Dino out of that area. Ah, damn you, Wilbur. I like Dino better than you, Wilbur. Dino's cool. Wilbur's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> 